Hello, I'm Diego Soroa. I am professor at MCXI, Master in Customer Experience and Innovation. And I teach disruptive, radical innovation, exponential organizations. There's little doubt AI will be at the center of education. The tricky question is not about what will change in the future, but about what will remain the same. In any case, to start making sense of some of those changes today, we can look at the old problems of education industry and focus on what doesn't work for learners today. Learning is cheap, but education is expensive, and admissions are asymmetric. If we combine IA business schools and universities, there are north of 15,000 students yearly, and that's quite a number. But other institutions aim to inspire tens of millions. For instance, Harvard's intro class to computer science in edX platform has reached 5 million learners. Canamigo by Khan Academy is leveraging AI to lower the barriers of entry and to make education universal. In 2021, Khan Academy helped 2 million kids, and they are aiming now in 2030 to 20 million kids. They are personalizing education with AI, providing high quality learning and making it accessible to a much broader audience and at lower cost, because changing the numbers just changes the logic. And that's just one example. Another way to understand possible changes is by identifying new or future problems that the education industry will need to solve. Let's look, for example, at the quality education content. In the past, content was scarce, but now it's not. Today, you can find high quality content from the best professors easily and generally for free. As content became digital, the cost of creation and distribution dropped massively. But that abundance brings new problems too. Instagram saw a shift in the job to be done in photography from chemical, quality chemicals to editing filters and especially to curation capabilities of huge amounts, abundance of pictures. Kodak did not see that coming. The problem regarding high quality educational content also shifted from scarcity to curation. However, things keep changing. Now we can use AI copilots like Canamigo to create instantly hyper-personalized tailored content. And the problem is now different. Is that content updated? Is it stable? Is it biased? Is it human? Is it even true? We need operating systems with guidelines for adequate instant and hyper-personalized learning copilots. And any institution that wants to have a relevant role in the future of education will have to tackle these new problem spaces as well. And there are many fascinating problems in education, like the need for continuous education and lifelong learning, and we can go on and on. For many people, those are not even problems. They're just realities they need to conform to. The magic happens when you don't conform. And only then can you identify those problems, whether they're old or new, and pair them with what is possible today. Then the limits are only the limits of your imagination. Thank you.